I had a high school biology teacher who was really um, impactful, made bi biology the class that everybody looked forward to. Um, lots of enthusiasm, lots of passion for the subject. And uh, perhaps the most important lesson he taught was actually in a, uh, uh, an assembly for the school. He got up and he took a uh, dissecting probe and he taped it to his middle finger as he was talking. And the reason he did that is he, he gave a little talk about developing a sense of wonder. And he started off by saying that wonder is a word that jaded, cynical teenagers often don't think about. They don't, you know, it's not within their worldview to talk about things that are wonderful. Um, and it's true. If you ever listen to people who use the word, word wonderful as if they're saying that's wonderful, chances are it's an adult. Um, but he was saying it's a shame that teenagers and people in general don't develop a sense of wonder, of wonder that they don't look at the world and see how full of wonder it is. And the reason he taped the dissecting probe to his finger was he told a story about an animal that gave him a sense of wonder when he was younger, and it's the eye eye. Now the eye eye is, uh, I believe it's a marsupial, don't quote me on that, um, from Madagascar. They live in the trees and they have this very long, very long skinny middle finger with a long nail on the end of it. And they use it to scratch at trees and to dig into rotten trees. And they tap with that finger and they listen for a hollow sound. And when they find a hollow sound, they'll use that really long middle finger to dig into the tree and to pull out grubs with this little hook-like uh, fingernail. And he talked about how when he learned of the eye eye, he thought that is wonderful. He was so in awe of this animal that had adapted such a unique ability to have this big freaky long middle finger. Um, and he, he encouraged us to not be jaded, cynical teenagers, but to look around and find things that we believed were wonderful and to develop our ability to sense wonder in the world around us, in the people around us, in everything. And that has really been a powerful lesson for me as I've matured and as I've hit middle age. Being able to look at the world and sense wonder in it. It drives you to learn. It drives you to work. It drives you to keep looking and not become cynical. It keeps things interesting if you can find things that are wonderful. And so that watching that bee come out of that little cell, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, that little bee is so infinitesimally small but it's wonderful to watch it, how it's developed, that that is the way it comes into the world and we got to watch it. That was, that was a wonderful experience for me. And a very similar word to wonder and wonderful is glorious. I have another family friend and that's her favorite word. She uses it to describe music and other art as being glorious. And she doesn't use it flippantly or sarcastically. It's because when she sees something that is glorious, that's the word. It's full of glory. It's full of wonder. So maybe that's another reason that I keep bees. You get to develop your sense of wonder, and you get to see things that are glorious.